Hello, welcome to this old geek. I'm Mike Esker. In this video, I am making a Wicked Witch puppet head. And as always, I start out building uh, my sculpt up with clay, with plasticine clay. And then I uh, wrap it piece by piece with aluminum foil. Make sure I got everything covered. And I'm taping it up here. Keep any loose uh, foil together. And then I start applying the paper mache. And when it's all dry after a few days, I cut it open and separate the halves, pulling out the clay and the foil. And using acrylic gesso, which is a primer, I paint the inside of each half of the head. When the gesso is dry, I glue the two halves together and bind them with rubber bands until the glue is dry. I then paper mache the seam of the head. When that's all dry, I then uh, measure how big I want the hole for the PVC pipe to be. I then cut that out and I measure how long I want my the pipe to be after I have cut the pipe to the length I want I sand off any rough edges I then hot glue the one end that goes inside the head of the PVC pipe And then I stick it all the way up to the very top of the head. I then wrap the uh, neck with masking tape so the paper mache will stick to it. And then I apply paper mache to the neck. I apply about three layers. I uh, wet the head with my fingers before I apply the paper clay. It helps the paper clay to stick. And then I start applying the clay. I will get uh, the entire front of the head covered with clay with the paper clay and then uh, after that I will start working on the uh, details starting with the eyes and then the nose and the mouth until I get everything built up the way I want it to be here I am applying drywall compound to uh, Make it smooth, let it dry for about 20 minutes at least, and then I get a damp cloth and rub it smooth because the drywall compound is water soluble. I then paint it with uh, acrylic gesso before I do the final painting. So after I smooth it out with the drywall and put on some gesso, I realize I forgot to put on some ears. So I made some uh, ears there to put on. They don't have to be perfect. They're going to be covered with hair anyway. I had to sand off where I had the gesso on there in order to make them stick there. And sometimes that happens. I also touched up the nose a little bit with some clay and the chin. So when all that dries, I will apply some more gesso and be ready for the final paint job. So well, then I start the final paint job. I start out with real grain 
uh, but then I decided to do Kelly Green on top of that, and I applied about four coats all together, and then I start painting in the details, the eyes and the mouth. When I'm all finished with the painting, I put on a couple coats of clear coat. Now all that's left to do is to put on the hair and make the costume and finish the rest of the puppet. And I will be doing that in part two. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.